Let's now talk about a medical marvel. We might be one step closer to the early detection of Parkinson's disease. Typically, the illness is related to old age. It is detected at the age of 60 on an average. But what if doctors could catch it earlier, even when the symptoms have not quite started to show? Thanks to the researchers at Harvard University, this might come to reality. Now, before I tell you about the early detection, we need to get our basics right. In Parkinson's disease, parts of a person's brain progressively damage over years. So do the body parts controlled by them. And the symptoms start slowly. That's what makes this disorder scary. The first symptom may be barely noticeable tremor in just one hand. And then there is stiffness or slowing of movement. The patient's face may show little or no expression. Their arms may not swing when they walk. Their speech may become soft or slurred. And over time, the tremors become more common. Body movement gets slower. Simple tasks become difficult and time-consuming. The patient's posture may become stooped. They may fall frequently or develop balance issues. This is what happens on the outside, but what happens inside the patient's body? To put it simply, their body starts releasing abnormal proteins. They are called single alpha cyanocline fibrils. As time passes by, the proteins keep building up and forming deposits. And after a certain point, the patient starts showing symptoms. Now, conventional diagnostic tests depend on these external clinical signs. But the thing is, they don't show up until permanent harm has been done. This is exactly what Harvard researchers are trying to change. They have developed an early detection test. It is called digital seed amplification assay. How does it work? In simple words, the assay separates the fibrils of the abnormal protein and allows them to grow into fluorescent clusters. These clusters are easily detectable. If found in a sample, the doctors would catch Parkinson's disease and this would be way before the symptoms really show up. For the time being, the researchers are focusing on using brain tissues for detection, but taking out the brain tissue for analysis is not the best option. Which is why the scientists want to make this test even more sensitive. And if they succeed, they would be able to detect abnormal proteins in the blood and other biological fluids. You see, the new findings have sparked new hope. There is no permanent cure for Parkinson's disease. All that the doctors can really do is control it using medication or sometimes surgeries when required. The disease's early detection could make it more manageable for the patients, given the fact that over 10 million people suffer from the Parkinson's disease all over the world. Having a trustworthy test for early identif identification might prove to be a blessing. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.